Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome in. My name is Amanda. This is the Connected Conduit. This will be a timeless message for you whenever you find it, you are meant to. This is general, not a one-to-one, -one, so that means messages may or may not resonate with you, and that's okay. Just pick up what feels good and leave the rest for someone else. Okay, I'm hearing um, some things. Spirit is showing me some things, and I'm going to do a super quick reading on this. Um... You need to protect your energy, okay? Because you've got somebody who's really envious and jealous of your beauty, of your light, of your gifts, and the fact that you're getting everything you want in life. And they're suffering negative karma while you are enjoying dharma, or you're about to, okay? Um, this could be a karmic family member, a mom, a dad, a sibling, a cousin, an ex-partner, an ex-friend doesn't even have to, it could even be a current friend, you know, someone who smiles in your face. They pretend to be happy for you when underneath they're actually not. Okay. Um, and for others of you, this is a karmic partner who your divine masculine is releasing, is letting go of, and they're pretty upset about it. So just take it how it resonates, you guys going to be different for all of you okay let's see what you need to know about this this person has a lot of negative feelings and emotions towards you yep the five of swords this person is competitive they're toxic they are a narcissist or they have narcissistic tendencies this is someone who likes to argue compete, win at all costs, no matter what. This is someone who has a big ego. The five of cups. Yeah, see, this is someone who is going through a difficult time. Like they're losing. They're losing right now. Their cups are knocked over. They're feeling sad, upset, in a dark space we have five five out here fives are a number of conflict change challenges disruption obstacles competition so this person it's almost like they're trying to bring you down to their level the page of cups Oh, this is someone who comes off as very innocent, but underneath they're not. They wear a mask and they're good at hiding their true nature. Okay, this is someone who could be a little bit younger than you, but that doesn't have to be the case. This person's trying to stand in the way of your destiny. They're trying to keep you stuck. They don't want you to get everything that you are about to get. Because you're about to be living the, the life of your dreams. You're going to be on the top of the wheel. You're about to have a major victory here. You're coming out on top. And this person is upset about it. Okay, that's how I opened up this reading. You're getting your good karma, your dharma, and this person is on the bottom of the wheel getting their bad karma. The Wheel of Fortune came out to clarify that message. You're on top, and the person that you're dealing with, they're on the bottom. And so they're sending you evil eye. They're, they're jealous of you. They're trying to block your movement forward. They could even lash out at you they could start a verbal argument they could come at you challenge you try to dim your light tear you down take away from your victory you know what i mean oh that type of person 
you know, it's, it's almost like, for example, if this is a parent and you're like, oh, I graduated with top honors, mom. And your mom's like, so what? That's not a big deal. Think about all the other areas you failed in life. You think that makes up for all the other ways you fail? You know, it's like that. It's, nar it's a narcissist. Okay. That's just an example. Death and rebirth. So this is, okay, you've changed, you've transformed, and this person doesn't like it. They don't like it because they can't get to you like they used to. You're putting an end to this treatment. You're setting good boundaries. Queen of Pentacles, you know your worth. You're about to make a whole lot of money. Your dreams are coming true. You're aligning with your destiny. Luck is on your side. Yeah, the Hierophant. Spirit has your back. You're about to come into a whole lot of money. And if you're looking for love, the love of your life is coming in. You've gone through, I want to say like an overhaul, if that makes sense. Like your life has received a complete overhaul. It looks different in every single possible way. And there's a lot of people that you're leaving behind. Look at this, six of wands. <laughs> you're shining. You're successful. You're having a victory. And you're turning your back on a lot of people that no longer serve you. Who have been cruel, mean, harsh, and critical. And they don't like it. They do not like it. But you're just going to be like smiling and having a great, great old time. The wheel. This is going to come in very quickly, very suddenly. It's like, boom, everything comes in for you almost all at once. So all you need to know is that like this isn't going to stop this person or these people. They're not going to stop you. But spirit wants you to be aware that this energy is around you and it may surprise you who this person is okay for some of you you know you know who this is it's very obvious for others of you spirit is bringing this up because there's someone who seems really innocent and sweet but underneath they're evil okay it's this page of cups person they're emotionally immature and they pretend to be happy for you but underneath, they're not. This is someone who... Yeah, they smile in your face, but then they gossip about you behind your back. The Seven of Wands. You're protected. You're protected. But if you look in this card there's a woman in a bubble she's standing her ground she's minding her own business she's turning her cheek away from all of these other people who are coming up against her who are challenging her um trying to back her into a corner and you're like whatever like i don't care i'm gonna do me i don't care about your opinions or your judgments you're standing your ground you're fighting for your beliefs you're protected And you have people around you who want to burst your bubble. That's what Spirit just said. You have people in your life who want to come at you with their mean, critical, bitter sticks. And they want to burst your bubble of joy. They want to burst your happy bubble. But it's not going to work. Because you've taken your power back. These people don't have any power over you anymore. And they're mad about it. Okay. And as I talk about taking your power back, I just noticed the magician is on the bottom of the deck. That talks about stepping into your personal power. The Eight of Swords. See, these are people who feel stuck and trapped in their own life. And they want you to remain stuck and trapped. They don't want you moving on, being successful, being happy because they're not and misery loves company. 
they may even try to say things to have you doubt yourself or make you feel unworthy of what's coming towards you but it's not going to work and you're destined to have a whole lot of abundance wealth and stability ten of pentacles you're gonna have it all you're gonna have the ten of pentacles and somebody has been trying to block this two of swords eight of swords they've been trying to keep you stuck and stagnant because they don't believe in themselves they're very weak okay this is someone who does not have um who is not in their confident energy okay this is not someone who's in their power this is somebody with a lack mindset they don't believe in themselves and their ability to manifest so when you manifest all of this abundance they're gonna they're gonna just be beside themselves livid Okay, like I'm hearing somebody go, oh, this biatch, oh, this biatch, she has everything she wants. Okay, that's, that's what I'm hearing. So I don't know. I don't know. It's going to be different for all of you in terms of who this is, but you're moving on with great speed, great force. It's not going to bother you, but um, yeah, just protect your energy, protect your energy and ignore the haters if they come at you. Yeah, look, seven of swords. You guys, you can't make this stuff up, right? It fell right out on top of the page of cups. There you have it. There is that person wearing a mask. Oh, you guys, we can't, you just can't make this stuff up. So when the page of cups came out, I said, this is someone who smiles in your face and then they gossip about you behind your back. They're not really happy for you. It's fake. They're wearing a mask. And then the seven of swords fell out on top of the page of cups. The Seven of Swords is someone who's lying, sneaking, cheating, stealing. They are a liar. They manipulate things. They have um, ulterior motives. All right? So watch out. Watch out for this person. Guard your energy. Protect your peace. And be aware. Just like extra alert at this time. Because... Again, you're meant to have a lot of money, a lot of wealth and abundance, and this is coming in many forms. You're going to have spiritual wealth, family, love, laughter, stability. You're leaving, you're going to leave behind a legacy. And somebody here is like pissed that they're not getting it, that they're being left behind or Again, if this is like your Divine Masculine's karmic, this karmic is livid. That you're getting everything you want. Or you're getting this Divine Masculine. You've won their heart. But you've done nothing. Like, all you, all you did was be, like, the best version of yourself. You stayed in your truth and your integrity. And... This masculine made their choice. You didn't manipulate anything or anybody. This masculine's a big boy, big girl. They can make up their own mind, their own decisions. And you've done nothing. You've just minded your own business, stayed true to you, and you've come out on top. You've come out the victorious, successful, magnificent person that you always have been and that you always will be because it's a natural state for you. You've always operated like this from truth and integrity and authenticity and therefore you're being rewarded you know so yeah this is why this is coming through you guys you have karmic people in your mist who are smiling in your face but deep down inside they're very very upset they're not happy for you they're lying to you they're wearing a mask Spirit's saying for some of you, be careful when you have, just don't tell people, <laughs> if you come into a lot of money, just keep that to yourself, okay? Don't tell people because you may have, um, you may have family members or friends who 
who might ask you for money or something like that. Okay, but they will always take from you. They'll never they'll never give back. And there's sort of this like self-righteous air, like you owe me. You know, this could be even like a mom, for example. Like I raised you. I put up with you my whole life. You were a horrible child. You owe me. You can pay me a whole whack of money to make up for all of the crap you caused in my life. Blah, blah, blah. Like this is a horrible person, okay? Like I'm sorry if this is triggering, if this is hitting home. Um, I feel like this is something you've overcome though. So hopefully this doesn't trig trigger you. But, you know, this does sound extreme, but this is what I'm getting. It's like that. It could be a parent who makes, who like makes you feel guilty for your success and then is like, you owe me, pay up, you know, give me money. So just be careful because you don't owe this person anything is what spirit is saying. In fact, they owe you. And the reason why they owe is... Okay, they owe the universe karma, and that's why they're on the bottom of the wheel. You've paid your dues, and you're on the top. This person is now going to be on the bottom because they need to pay up. They're the ones that are in debt, or in karmic debt, not you. All right, so, <laughs> goodness gracious. Not sure why this needed to come through, but it, it did, and I hope you found this helpful, you guys, so... Yeah. Protect your energy, protect your peace. Get ready for good things to come in and be prepared for some people to be very envious and jealous of your your abundance, your success, your victory, your shining. You've made it. Because you played by the rules, you played by the book. You did it the right way and you're being rewarded and blessed. And you've earned it. You've earned it, okay? But some people are not going to see it that way. Some people are going to see it as like you stole your way or to the top or you manipulated your way to the top. But that's just their insecurities being projected onto you. All right? So stand your ground. People may try to burst your happiness bubble, but don't let them, okay? All right, you guys. I'm going to leave it here. If you feel called to like and subscribe on your way out, that would be amazing. I would love to have you and I would appreciate that very much. It does help out the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.